teammate. I got you! For the fun fight. I think it's a guy above me. I told you guys to be, please. No. This one might be okay. Come on, move your face! I put out this tweet. I've had this happen a couple of times where uh, there were a few times where I ended up on Reddit, for example. This was years ago. I guess I haven't said anything at this point in order to really uh, warrant any people posting shit anymore. So, I mean, there's that. But I'll tell you guys a story about me and Reddit and other websites that would post about me and shit. Pathfinder here. I'm never giving up on you, baby. I love you. Those clips that were just played right there were all from me playing a couple nights ago. I just realized that I could just use this shadow play shit like everybody else does. So, I've just been sitting there just saving clip after clip after clip and then I just edit them all together and just do whatever with them. I think that's just how I'm gonna do it because I started doing that with the Black Ops 4 videos and before, you know, people got annoyed with the game or whatever, they really did enjoy uh, the extra effort, I guess, with the beginning little montage things and shit, so. It's just me and one other dude. Probably should not hot drop there because there's gonna be, it's only us two, there's no way. We're already at a disadvantage from the start. Mozambique here. <laughs> oh, I hate that fucking gun. And my relationship with Reddit uh, is usually pretty good, honestly, because every single time I got posted up there, there was like a whole slew of people that would defend me, so that was cool. I was worried about that kind of shit because I've seen, you know, people deal with their dramas and shit like that. I never really got involved with any of it, so like that whole thing, watching those things from the outside, it's just, it always feels bad to watch, I don't know. I mean, I know people are always entertained by drama and like little bullshit and storylines and all that stuff in the background, but I don't know, it's just an overall really shitty feeling whenever you sit there and imagine yourself uh, actually being in the situation that a lot of these people end up in sucks really just to hear about I, I i don't know i just hate hearing people like struggle with shit hey maybe people are gonna say that i'm getting soft over the years but listen i there was at never any point in my life where i was sitting there happy that these things were happening i'm not even talking about anything as specific either it's just yeah ended up releasing an entire patch for the game and <laughs> My teammate's not even, like, picking up any of this loot and stuff. It's weird. Okay, there we go. Gotta cut him some slack. He's doing well. They ended up nerfing the wingman, and they ended up nerfing the peacekeeper. I was not very good at using either of the weapons, so, yeah. They basically ended up nerfing the shit out of the hip fire for it. The wingman in particular. Couldn't reload. Fuck me. They nerfed the shit out of the hip fire for the wingman because people wouldn't even like be aiming with it. Like, I'm not really good with it because you have to be like stupidly accurate with it. I'm not very good with like single fire weapons. I don't have, I don't know. My trigger finger is average at best. And also like it's fast enough, obviously, but it's not like some, you know, godlike thing, especially trying to keep it accurate while firing that quickly. It's just not going to happen. Um, there've been a couple times where I've been able to beam people with it, but I'm just not consistent with it. I'd rather take like an R301. Honestly, I'd rather take a lot of things over it. Um, especially since I I knew there were nerfs coming. I didn't bother trying to get better at it either. Um, and there was just too many times where I had like a fully charged peacekeeper, like level three, completely charged up with the bolt and everything. And I just blast somebody in the neck at least. And they just take like maybe 70 damage at most. Whereas other times I just get absolutely folded like nothing. I mean, to be fair, I play Pathfinder. Uh, it's probably, oh, I'm with the good squad. Cool. But yeah, usually if you don't play one of the bigger characters in the game, Gibraltar, Caustic, or uh, Pathfinder, uh, you're way more likely to just get one-shotted as opposed to just being one of the small
smaller characters like Wraith, for example. I'm me, man. Come on. You guys got higher ranks than me. I mean, even though the R301 at distance is not necessarily like the hardest hitting gun in the game, it's just so accurate and it still puts pressure on people to at least move and do something. Because they know if they're like in the line of sight, they're still going to take damage. It's just a small amount of damage in comparison to like getting hit with like a wingman across the map anyway. <laughs> I think the meta is just going to completely shift over to everybody using R301s, R99. Maybe the flatline. I'm not entirely sure, though. Not really sure what everybody's going to spam now. I mean, it's not like the wingman is not usable or anything like that. It's just not as yeah. ridiculous. Oh, they'll never expect this. They expected it. That one guy killed all three of us. Something happened with YouTube where apparently people's views disappeared. What? Huh? The most embarrassing videos video, it's 14 minutes long, 14 minutes, 21 seconds, had like 280k views and now it has 120. It still has all the ratings and stuff there. Dude, has anybody ever seen a video with 120k views with 23k likes? Yeah, also, the Modern Warfare 2 remastered video used to have like almost 400k and now it's down to 250. Okay, it happened to a whole bunch. Oh my god! No! He shit the whole server! Server's there. Now, I don't know why you went over there, but that was hey, that's your fault. Spooky noob 228. Uh yeah, man. I don't know about that one. Hey. I'm looking this up. The video was at 1.2 mil and now it's at 923. Oh, it seems like it's happening to everybody. What the fuck? I hardly post to YouTube and my video lost 12k views. I lost views, but not to that amount. It's weird though, because on the website, oh, YouTube tweeted about it. We've seen similar reports on view count drop and are currently looking into it. Appreciate your patience in the meantime. It was just like some sort of like weird display issue, like maybe an outdated page or something just kept loading on there. But no, when you click onto the video, the views are actually lower, but like everything else is still the same. It's weird. Like even on the analytics, Analytics, you can see that it used to be at this point as far as total views and then the next is like that It's so weird well, as like a big character player as I was saying anyway before all that shit I don't even remember um, They're they, they went through with the nerfs on those guns Those are live at the moment, but then season one I believe is supposed to come out sometime this month So it's coming up soon So there's a lot more changes that are gonna be coming during the season one release with the battle pass and all that stuff The official, you know season one launch for the entire game now, right now. This is just kind of like pre-game Yeah, you got a whole bunch of people a whole bunch of people did tournaments a whole bunch of people got crazy amounts of kills and shit already but they're gonna adjust all the hitboxes on the bigger characters i don't know if they're like considered broken or not all i knew that 100 pathfinder's hitbox was much bigger than it actually is like for example there are characters in the game when they're moving around their hitbox will move with them like if my character lifted my arm up and i was playing wraith or something like that if bullets were to go like underneath right here it wouldn't contact but when you play pathfinder it's basically your whole thing is like a static hitbox so regardless of what your animation is all the spaces underneath of my arm arms between my legs everything like that on pathfinder is a complete hitbox that's why you just get melted super fast as like the bigger characters because obviously it's just much easier to hit you but also they're hitting shots that you're not even supposed to be actually hitting oh this whole update that comes out with season one will be super big for us people that play pathfinder as our main he's the most fun character i can't help it. i'm not embarrassed i love this character he's fun as shit it's just uh i'm just embarrassed at the size of my hitbox if i played gibraltar i'd understand because it's like i got shields and shit but uh, i don't have shields on pathfinder i don't have anything that will protect me. I just have a grappling hook for all the movement speed. I think after this update, Pathfinder will actually be an insane character, but he'll be at least like, I'm not going to say he's S tier, but he'll be at least at the top of like A tier. Still don't think he'll be better than Wraith or Bangalore or maybe even Bloodhound. Previously with me and Reddit, uh, there was a situation where I made a video called Freaks or something like that, uh, where I basically just gassed up how insane the CSGO players were. Like actual like pro or even just high level CSGO players. I basically called them like engineered freaks they're incredible obviously the people that posted the video about it were just trying to like take it out of context or at least uh, try to make it sound worse than it actually is they were thinking that i was meaning that in like a really malicious way but i meant that in the best way i possibly can it's a compliment to call somebody a freak at a game it's not an insult i'm literally saying and bowing to you and your gaming prowess a reply video also ended up going onto that reddit as well to be like hey Jeff responds to the reddit thread about his freaks video all positive vibes and 
shit. Like, I just, I was chilling. And even all the people underneath it were just, like, kind of giving shit to the guy that posted it. They're like, wow, man, you're really reaching for this kind of stuff. You're making it sound worse. This guy seems actually pretty cool. And I was just like, oh, thanks, guys. Last two squads are fighting each other. Oh, we won. GG. I didn't really do anything. <laughs> do I even have a kill? Wait, I'm in the front? Wait, what happened? I have zero kills. I did fuck all. That was the most recent thing with Reddit anyway. As since that point, everything's been quiet. It's been years, okay? I'm chilling. Uh, but now there's something a lot less malicious, which is great. There were apps like iFunny, some Twitter uh, on Reddit. It was on like white people Twitter. It was on r slash funny on Reddit. It was, uh, where else was it? It's, it's going across Facebook. It's going across Twitter. It's going across Reddit. It's on fucking, I don't even know. That tweet ended up everywhere. The one about uh, getting older and like basically not getting sick ever when you were a kid. And then like you turn 18 years older or some shit like that and all of a sudden you just feel old as shit and you just get sick for no reason i'd honestly rather be dead or use my fist than touch this p2020 i'm gonna be real all right let's see how this nerfed wingman does i was never good with it to begin with so i'm probably not even gonna notice the difference yes, A couple days ago, I ended up running into this cute little Gibraltar play. I don't know what it is, but whenever they're like super low levels, they're always playing Gibraltar. I don't know why. I don't know why. I ended up running into a dude that was playing as Gibraltar. Really low level. I was playing with Rye. Dude's name was Massive Wiener, but I just have no idea how to be able to title the video about a dude named Massive Wiener, but he was just like, I couldn't, dude. It was like one of the best experiences I've ever had on this game. The guy didn't even talk. Rip. God damn it. I have to figure out how I can make a video about it. Or at least, you know, at least feature it somehow. I, I don't really know how I'm gonna do it, though, because I'm pretty sure I can't name a video Massive Wiener. Hey, maybe I can. I don't know. Wiener, is that a bad word? Anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My most recent videos are popping up on the screen here. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, that's the job, guys. Later.